Yeah, and the price for that is three thousand um, dollar. Do you do you, do you want it? Like, uh, let's go, right? What What do you mean you don't have the money? Hey guys, my name is Blaze, and today's video is gonna be about selling high ticket services. So we're gonna break it down into two steps. Step number one is acquisition, and step number two is conversion. What do I mean by acquisition? Acquisition is until the point where you get them on the phone or, or a Zoom conversation. And conversion happens when you are on the phone, right? And you are about to tell them your price and close the deal. So acquisition. So there are two categories. There is organic and paid acquisition. So examples for organic are building your personal brand on online, right? On social media, um, whatever fits for you. Like maybe you really good on camera and you enjoy doing YouTube videos or maybe you create a podcast or a blog or you just create your brand on, on Facebook or maybe you do Instagram or maybe your audience is interested watching your TikTok videos, whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. The point being is that you let your personality come across the camera, right? So you can start building some report with those people and get them excited about your offer. Building a personal brand, it takes some time, right? It takes some patience, you need to put in the groundwork. So some people ask like, is there any other way? And, and yes, obviously there is. I know multiple people making 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand dollar monthly with selling high ticket services yet they don't have a brand. Maybe they have like a few hundred followers here and there or maybe like a thousand but that's the max. And so what do they do? How, how do they build this one up? They network. There are so many ways you can network online. You can go to forums, you can go to uh, clubhouse, you can go to closed Facebook groups with the interest, right? So let's see if you are if you are teaching people how to play the guitar, you find Facebook groups um, that's where, where people are talking about guitars and stuff, right? And you start networking there, you start um, helping people. Because it's all about like just creating value and, and showcasing that you have a lot of knowledge on a given topic. So there are many other ways, but this is organic in a nutshell. So the other route is running ads. Now, let's stop for a second, right? Because we run ads for a lot of people. And a lot of people come to us asking that, hey, can you guys make me rich running ads? And the answer is usually no, because you need to have an established business. You need to have a great offer. You need to have a team. You need to, you need to build your team so it's like scalable. And then it makes sense to start putting in the dollars into the ads. But before that, it's just, I feel like you, you rather just have to like network and do the organic things to figure out what you what the market really needs. So step number one is really just organic. Like if you cannot make at least ten thousand dollars with organic methods, you, you shouldn't really start considering like running ads if you're in the high ticket service business. But this being said, once that's done, once your offer is dialed in, you have massive, massive potential by running ads. You can run ads on it. You know, Facebook, YouTube, yada, yada, yada. But that's not the point of this video. So step number one was acquisition. I covered everything. Step number two is conversion. And this is the best part. Like this is the most exciting part to me because I used to think that selling is like a, this weird thing when you try to like convince people and you and you try to give, like you try to like screw them over and, and sell them something they don't really need so you can like get rich. And, and in, in reality, Selling is all about making other people excited about the things you are excited about. And having a reality check that what you do, it's really a great service for those people and they see value in it. That's what, ser but that's what selling is all about. In terms of high ticket services, selling usually happens on a Zoom call, a Skype or whatever you wanna use online and or a phone call. Now, I know, I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, I'm, I'm not gonna sell, like, that's, this is crazy. I don't wanna do that. But at the end of the day, you don't need to be some crazy, um, you know, psychological mind game guy to like trick everyone and grab their money. That's not that's not what it's about. If you can have a decent conversation with a friend, asking questions, reasonable questions to figure out if you can help your friend or not, then chances are that you can sell, right? You know how to sell. It is just that there are like so much fluff on the market base. It's insane. The amount of BS out there is like, is just, it's, it's, it's straight dangerous. So let me break it down for you what sales is really about. When you sell, you have to think yourself about as a doctor. What the doctor does when you have some sort of problem, he asks questions and then he gives you the prescription based on the information he gathered, right? So all you need to do is 
build a little report, ask questions, and then once you know that you can help them, propose your offer as the actual prescription, right? So get a diagnosis and then give them a prescription. Easier said than done, but that's really the underlying framework. I really want to simplify your selling so you can wrap your head around and start understanding what it is really about. So only five steps. Step zero, <laughs> that doesn't count, just building some rapport. Like have a little chit chat, you know, talk about life. Maybe you saw on their Facebook profile that they have a wife or whatever. Just build, a, you just pre-frame the call and build a little bit of rapport. Step number one, figure out where they are. What's their current reality, right? Why they are on a sales call with you? Um, like how long have they been building this business? What are their current monthly revenue? What do they want? Like what? Are, like all the all the all the things that's their current reality. Like ask relevant questions that you can later leverage in the conversation. The next step is to figure out where they want to go. What they want to do in B two B. It's usually about like how, how like how much more money you want to make. Why do you want to build this business? What's your vision? Why are you passionate about it? Stuff like that. In B two C, it could be easily again just to be. Just to say the example of fitness, it could be like, uh, you know, how do you want to look like? How do you want to feel? What's, what, what, what sort of body body fat percentage you want to have? Are you, comp, you know, uh, preparing for a competition? Or what's, what's really the goal? Why we are here in this conversation? The step number three is figure out what's stopping them from getting to that goal. Like all the roadblocks, like what are the roadblocks? A, B, C, D. You need to figure out and dig out what are the biggest roadblocks because later you're going to leverage those in the conversation. Step number four is diagnose. What's going on with them? Like based on all the conversation, what is the diagnose? You need to, when you have the conversation, you need to start thinking about like, what are their main three problems? And in the phase of diagnose, you need to give those back to them, right? So you need to tell them, hey, your, your problem number one is A, and it is hurting you to getting, getting to your goal because this and this and this, right? An example again, uh, your biggest problem is that you know what you need to eat, but you just cannot commit to it, right? You are like, you are constantly eating something else. And that's why you're not losing body fat. And then you tell them the solution. You don't tell them how you're gonna solve their problem, but you, but you show them that you know what the solution is and you can give that to them, right? And so you do that, A, B, C, like all, all, the, all, all the problems, you bring out their pain. And then, and the last step is closing. Now, I usually don't go crazy around closing, but I have a few power questions I ask from them. Like I really wanna show that, before we talk about the price, if you know this is something they really want, regardless of the price, if it's something they, they really want now, like they wanna move forward, because if I figure out that that's something they don't want right now, or this is something they don't want, I don't even tell them the price. I just try to figure out what is it that holding them back, why, why they are not willing to you know, pull the trigger on this one right now, or why they feel like that um, this is not the right thing for them. If I, if I genuinely believe the base in the conversation that it is, and I, and I help them make epiphanies, I help them make realizations to get closer to that reality. So later it will be much easier for me to close the deal. Now, this being said, there are many, many, many limiting beliefs around selling, which I'm not gonna cover right now, but just to give you a very good example, people are super anxious when they need to say like, say like the price. Um, they feel like they're just there to like get the money. They're so like they're too much focused on the money. Um, and what I would tell for everyone, like if you are an expert, if you already created the service, if you are at that point when you are like selling people and you know you can help them, your it is your moral obligation to sell them on the actual price that would help them move forward, right? You. You cannot sell them more and you cannot sell them less because you would do them a disservice. If you don't sell them, if you let them off the hook and they feel like they made some progress towards the goal because of this conversation, but in reality, the real value transaction would happen when the sales, when the, when the money transaction comes and the, and the real delivery starts, right? So if you genuinely believe you can help them, it is a disservice if you let them off the hook. And there are techniques on how to do that. But this is, a, this is a limiting belief many people have. And once I understood this concept and I could drill it into my brain, then pretty much everything changed to me in terms of selling. So that was it for today, guys. Uh, I hope you get some value out of this. If you have any question, again, drop, drop it into the comments. Uh, drop a like if you want to, maybe subscribe. And see you in the next video.